Hello Pisces. Welcome. This is Jamie from Solvine Guidance. If we haven't met before and g'day to our returning viewers. As always, appreciate you being here and being of service. So we're checking in with the energies right now for Pisces just to get a little check in to see what's happening. I am going to try and make this a little shorter than I normally do because I know a lot of my readings can you know extend a little but I like to get a full story for you so this is for Pisces sun moon and rising energies and this is a timeless reading so whenever you find this and feel connected okay this is not going to resonate for everyone as you can appreciate so tuning on in here just take what resonates all right Pisces let's see what spirit has for you what spirit wants you to know I'm feeling a little excitement in energy as the hostilities jump out. Um, I know it's been a bit of a ride, Pisces. What else do we need to know? Thank you, Spirit. This adjacent possibilities keeps popping out. All right. What else do we need to know? Thank you, Spirit. I like this Pisces you're very supported right now from spirit um, and that's what's really showing up here so I'm liking that for you okay so what we're having a look at is the potential challenges what things are looking like or where you're currently at what is to come and then the advice. So we're going to further clarify, but I just want to connect into to what's coming up overall here for you, okay? And I'm working with different spreads, different energetics, different, um, I mean, I like the decks that I'm using. This is what I'm feeling really connected to right now to give us a bit more of a story. But what I feel right now that there's a lot going on within you Pisces it's interesting because a lot of the time you know as a, as a Piscean a lot is around emotion I don't know where obviously your um where Pisces is in your chart if it's sun moon and rising and it can mean all different things right and then what other signs that you have as part of your sun moon or rising elements However, I feel right now with this thinking woman and adjacent possibilities, I'm just getting that there's some aspect. I feel like someone has a lot of air in their chart and potentially there's a lot on the mind. There's a lot of things that you're looking at and it's not clouded in terms of thinking. It's like just a lot on your mind, a lot to process, a lot to think about where you're going, what you're doing, trying to find solutions to some situation. And that is your current challenge right now. I think you're trying to find solutions, but I also feel this stuck energy. Okay. So the challenge is, is finding a way, finding a path, finding a new direction. And I don't think it's going to be traditionally how you're used to doing things or how you're used to looking at things at the same time. Okay. And we can be on different timelines here. So connect where it resonates here, Pisces, but there's also some form of, I think, thinking on how to approach a situation because you're tired of the hostilities, you're tired of whatever backlash um, I'm getting like butting heads or conflict that, that there is. And I don't feel this is from you. I feel like you're trying to come in, in this space, being compassionate, understanding, supportive, showing up with full heart and really trying to make something, trying to nurture something. I feel you're being unconditional in approach, but you're just getting, oh, like, I was going to say pounded because that's a word that was coming through, but that sounds like something else. Um, hounded, um, the words that are coming through can be innuendos for other things. So I'm just being mindful of that. Um, yeah, I just, 
this is someone's energy here that I feel is just really challenging you, Pisces. I'm sure this fella, this situation, this male energy, this conflict, I should say masculine energy. Um, yeah, they're, they're really in your energy in space. And I think you're really looking at a place, how to clear this out, how to, how to clear this out, how to get this out, how to balance it out. Like, I think you're trying to look at all ways to make this okay, but I feel you're tired. I feel that you're like trying to hold space. You're trying to take care of yourself. There's just so much going on for you, Pisces. But what I'm loving is that you are strength and powerful and you're you're supported. This angel of love and angel of balance, this is like spirit lifting you, supporting you, backing you. And you may not see that or realize that, but it's here and it's very beautiful, loving, warm energy. So no matter what decisions you make, no matter what path you go, you're just taken care of. And it's interesting with this any, any, envy energy, that could probably be a song, envy energy. All right. This is connected to this. Okay. This person I'm feeling similar energies from, it's like very heavy, burdensome. Um, just, you know, it's kind of the energy of, for the love of God, take a self check, take a self look, really look at your approach to things. That's what I feel is like parts of you, Pisces, really trying to go, I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to care for you. I'm trying to make this situation. Okay. I'm trying to find solutions to help you, to support you. Whoever this person is, is in your life, whatever this dynamic is, but there's also this frustration that I feel underneath your feeling because this person is just looking and sitting in the heaviness, in the darkness and not realizing their way of being is not supportive, but you're holding your own Pisces and good for you. So super interesting. There's another energy popping on in here. This man holding a coin. Now we're going to clarify. I'm going to make it a quick clarification. We're going to see if I, I mean, you know, I get into these readings and then I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I can do it a bit shorter and not keep you guys here for so long, but you know, got to take it how it flows. And I like to get the full story. Uh, interestingly, this is a fresh, fun, light, smiley energy that is coming on in for you. So I'm liking this, and this is your advice too. So I feel like as part of your movement forward, I really do feel you're letting go of a lot of things here. You're letting go, you're, you're, recalibrating, refocusing a new energy and stepping into that energy yourself and doing you. And I think a part of that too is going to piss someone off, is going to go like this person is so hard on themselves, but they're projecting on you is what I'm getting here. And then it's like you get some success because you've just held your ground, you've maintained your love, your compassion, your kindness amongst this as much as you might want to yell at this person, be angry at them. It's like, I feel like you're really, really doing well at how you're showing up and you should be proud of yourself. Hey, we're not perfect. So we're going to have moments where we want to tell someone to go jump or whatever, but I'm really, really, really liking this energy. Which deck are we going to use here? <clears throat> Just give me a sec. Which deck? Um, I just need to... Why is it when you want something to light? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now it doesn't even want to work. What's that about? I'm trying to, I've already cleared the space. Oh my God. It doesn't even want to go. Okay. It's fine. Alrighty. Yeah. I'm getting this deck. 
this one's no this one's looking keeps looking at me keeps saying look at me choose me pick me all right i'm going to do a, a clarification here just to get more of the story on what's going on okay pisces and whatever spirit chooses to throw out if it's nothing too crazy uh, we, we're just going to go with it. So the thinking woman, thank you, spirit. So we've got the chariot and the two of wands. So this is like, you're really trying to look at which direction, which path to go and make movement towards that. There's something that you're really considering, thinking about in terms of your plans and your path forward. And this has been, this is part of your challenge. And like I said here, you know, <laughs> There is something really challenging you here, Pisces, but you're, you're tired of being in stagnation. I feel like when you're in thought, when you're thinking, things aren't happening, right? But when it, it's kind of taking over because of some situation that you're in, and this is the challenge that you're facing, is how do you move forward? How do you make movement forward? How do you start making plans and getting reconnected to, to what is important to you. This could be a person, this could be a situation, this could be a job. Um, you just, you're wanting to make progress. So this is, this is where I think you're a bit stuck because you want to move forward. You want just things to start working is what I feel. This could also be a decision that needs to be made, but let's have a look at the adjacent possibilities and what's coming on through. So we've got the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There's something here that I don't think you're expecting to show up and kind of catches you off guard. Um, and while this is sitting in a challenge, I think it's be the challenge is something that is unseen because you're also in a space of like, again, I think you're trying to compartmentalize and plan, but I feel you don't have enough information right now to make decisions, but you're trying to think about that information. And then you're trying to find information to like have confirmation bias in terms of some situation. I mean, I could, um, you know, go on what we do sometimes as humans to validate or to confirm or to make a decision. But I feel like you're going outside yourself to get the answers instead of going within. And as a part of this, you can't see what else you've been doing in the background, what else has been happening in the background and you've forgotten about something and that shows up and some news comes in and this is a new beginning that you didn't even expect. But this is kind of what I feel is hiding inside the challenge that you don't realize. So... I'm feeling pretty excited about this opportunity that's showing up for you. This could be a person, a project, something that has meaning, something that is birthing you. Um, this absolutely could be a relationship of some kind, an unexpected one as well. I don't think that's going to be what's showing up at first. But let's have a look at a bit of this hostilities and just try and get a bit more. The hostilities has a lot to say here. So let's have a look. We've got the Page of Pentacles the seven of pentacles, the two of swords, the six of wands, the nine of wands. Bless, bless, bless. Yeah. I feel like this person here, this situation, it's like someone's trying to come through and trying to show you, you know, they care they're sorry, they want to, you know, make something work and flow, but at the same time, they're not really putting in an effort, right? It's, I, it's what I'm getting here. And you're like, make sure your actions and what you're saying, sorry, make sure your words and what you're saying meet, meet your actions because they're not right now. It's just, um, above the service surface kind of crap, you know, and this is the frustration. And I think at some point here, you maybe communicate this is like, this is not matching up for me. Your, your approach to things is not matching up 
And I think you're standing up in your, your truth of what this heaviness, this burden, you're making it clear what fulfills you, what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel supported, what makes you feel like you matter and feel seen. What is the win for you out of this dynamic? I think you've communicated this and for some reason, this person doesn't click. It's like they just don't get it and they keep repeating the same thing. Like just confusion. Like I'm shaking my head right now. I wish you could see me. Like I'm frustrated with this energy for you because this person is just so defensive on everything you do is the what I'm getting here. And it's like, you're here for the win. You're here to make things better. You're here to help this situation. But they keep showing up by not showing up. They say, you know, they. I think they, they might communicate in some regard like, I'm going to support you. Like I got you, you matter to me. I care about you, but then it's like they apologize and then they don't put in the effort. And it's just like, what are you like? Why are you doing this? You can really make this okay, but what are you doing? And respectfully, this person is in their own mess, in their own head, in their own crap. Oh dear, dearie, dearie, dearie me. And you're really here about, I'm protecting myself. I think you're trying to tap into your intuition and hence why this thinking woman is a part of your challenge energy because you're trying to go within to find the answers, but you are overloaded mentally and trying to connect the dots of what the frig is happening here is what I'm getting, okay? Let's have a look at this angel of love energy. Thank you, spirit. Angel of love. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What else do we need to know? Thank you. Okay. So we've got the temperance, the six of pentacles and the 10 of cups. This is kind of your, your, I feel like part of your prayer Pisces, part of your unconditional love and support and what you feel that this can bring. Okay. I feel very um, emotional right now because your heart, your care, your beauty and the way that you're showing up regarding this situation is in full support of this dynamic, whatever it is. You want to make things okay. You want to give whatever you can give to make this work, to help balance it out. You want to like help them heal in addition to doing whatever healing work that you need to do. You also just want to have that happy fulfillment and success in your family dynamic. And, you know, your family is whoever you choose this to be, whatever situation you choose it to be. Like, whatever matters to you when it comes to your livelihood. And I'm feeling like this beautiful heart of yours that is just being um, like this person is totally missing what's up here. Like they are um, the hostility's energy is just, there's a lot of anger in this person, but I think they're angry at themselves and they don't know how to handle this situation. And I think you've been trying everything and I just feel your sadness inside and they're just missing it. They're just missing it. At the same time, Pisces, I feel like this is a special strength that you're also learning as part of this enduring experience. Um, what is wrong with people sometimes? Like, I know we've got our own traumas, but, you know, I feel like I'm getting like for, for this person situation or dynamic, cause it's going to be different for all of you. It's like their lights aren't even on. It's like they're, 
they're not even home to what's actually going around them because they're sitting in their own darkness, you know, and they can't, it's like they can't see, they can't see. I'm really, bless you. Okay, angel of balance. So for the angel of balance, we've got showing up the world, the devil, the ten of wands and the ten of pentacles. Let me just connect in here, guys, for a second. So this is kind of like the energy moving forward. I feel this is the energy that you're sitting in right now. Again, timelines can be different, guys. So take what resonates. But I'm just feeling like this melancholy of... where you've once been of what once had meaning. And I feel you're really trying to hold on Pisces to some hope, to some belief with your compassionate heart that you can resolve this situation is what I'm getting. Yeah, you, you, you're feeling challenged by this toxicity this person's bringing in. But I also think you're overburdened with your own thinking because of how this person's showing up because it's very confusing for you trying to read between the lines, trying to understand they're saying this, but then they're saying this, they're saying this, but then they're showing me this. And I think you're trying to really put the pieces of the puzzle together here. But with the world card and the devil energy, this could, this could be some form of completion or cycle that someone had to learn about themselves, had to learn about the way that they operate, that the heaviness this brings to any situation, the way that they're thinking, the, the way that they, they approach things, it's very unhealthy. But it's a lesson that they need to learn and maybe it's just part of their, their way of being when they get into a situation where they're constantly overloaded and burdened. It's like, that's the only way they know how to cope. They haven't learnt proper coping mechanisms, even if they might try and do the work, but with the angel of balance, you know, I wonder if this is going to cycle out and balance out. Like this is something divinely that had to be learnt and recognized. Okay. To help come back into a place of strength, into a place to find and recognize the importance of where they should be focusing. Not what, like, I feel there's a bit of neglect here in terms of some dynamic regarding, you know, a family, regarding building, building in togetherness, okay, is what I'm getting. I feel like they're, they've been missing this mark. And I think you've been trying to express it. You've been trying to help them. You've been trying to like I said, just be there. But I do, I feel like this is spirit doing their thing, the divine doing its thing. And the best thing you can do for yourself, Pisces, is to maintain your own balance, your own inner strength. And remember that you are being supported and also divinely guided as part of this. But I feel a big, an aspect here is someone else like they've got to figure out their own shit you know and it's not as much as you want to help and support you you can't fix them they've got to figure it out share more on this ten of pentacles yeah if this balancing out is not with this person I feel you're going to make a decision to own and claim it yourself here, Pisces. To me, justice as well as angels of, angel of balance, there is going to be some form of balancing out. But I think for 
some of you, you're going to I feel make a decision on what is right for you. And of course, we've gone on the 25 minutes. Can't help it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Having a look at the envy. Thank you. We've got the Empress and the Knight of Wands. So this could be Pisces as well. There's another little bit of, you know, story coming on through here in terms of your energy and what potentially could be happening is that some opportunity might be coming through for you here and I don't know if someone hasn't been giving to this situation just in general, like energetically. Um, like I said, walk in the walk, talk in the talk kind of, is that the right um, term? You know what I'm saying, which I was talking about here, which is about someone saying things, but actually doing it in support of what they're trying to apologize. Like I said, um, I feel Something for you could be around your own sense of stability and finances too. I don't know if they've kind of let you down here in this situation and that might be also some form of conflict. They just don't know how to engage in healthy conversation around this. But what I feel may be happening as well is like some opportunity may come in for you, Pisces, where you are actually recognized and offered an opportunity, which ha happens to help support this dynamic. But what I'm loving about this is that this is about your, your success and your win. And I feel like spirit is... I don't want to say spirit is rewarding you because this is like your, your hard work, your effort, your kindness, your compassion paying off. But a part of this as well is like sometimes just divine timing. And I feel like some offer an opportunity and is going to be communicated here, which I see, and then moves forward and offer an opportunity. And this might, again, this is not on you or your problem. It's theirs as in the person over here, but I feel interestingly that that win is going to like inspire them in some way, but there's also this frustration that I feel that they're expressing because why couldn't this happen earlier? Why did we have to get here? Why is this so hard? So it's like, no matter what you do, the growth, the success, the love, the compassion that you show up for this person, there seems to be an issue for them. And I'm feeling you. So what I see is happening is that you're like firing up, you're stepping up. I'm just seeing like this. Um, I'm actually seeing like, a, you know, when the, I don't know what you call it, but they play the flute to the cobra and the cobra kind of dances. I don't know if that's a thing, Egyptian thing of some kind, but it's the visual that I'm getting. And I feel, is it a pipe, piped piper? I don't know. Um, but what I see is that you're moving like that cobra energy. And when I'm thinking of cobra, I'm thinking of a snake who sheds skin and steps into their own version or a new version or a new cycle, something. I'm just seeing like this shedding, but dancing to your own to your own tune, but it's a tune that you've heard before. It's a tune that's been played. It's a tune that feels good. Okay. And it's recognized. It's really interesting what's coming through and it's just what I'm getting here. And I think that puts someone in a not okay place because they finally see that maybe at some point you did need them, you know, because you you had expectations as part of the dynamic, an agreement, you know, a connection, uh, commitments to certain things. And I just feel like you've started just to go your, your own journey, your own path, but you're also distracted in a healthy way through something that has meaning to you. 
And with this Knight of Wands energy, this comes in two parts of you being in flow and in power of doing what you want to do with this Empress energy of like this new form of creating, this new form of fun, this new form of like, I don't know, like I just feel like this friendly, sexy person that you're really stepping out and stepping into. And this person's not going to like it at all because I feel what's happening is you've got someone else that is offering you something, offering you finances or like stability through your work. And it's interesting. I'm getting like a bit of jealousy just coming up around this because this person, I feel whoever's showing up is attractive, is inspiring. And I feel like gets you a new gives you a new breath of fresh air and excitement in this opportunity. So let's have a look at what the advice is around this man holding a coin or what you need to know about this person. Yeah, they see you, this person. They, um... Yeah, this person really sees you here. I do feel like there's some form of work connection going on. Um, I feel this person may also be teaching you some new things. If this is a job opportunity or something that you're pursuing, it's like, they're going to teach you things. They're going to inspire you things. There's something to learn here through this person. In addition to them actually paying you for your services, I feel at some point in time. So I don't know what you're collaborating here or engaging in, but there's, there's many aspects here of learning of doing like work and getting paid, but also this form of your own success and achievement here, Pisces. We've also got the page of wands. So I think this is what's going to be communicated soon. Um, and I do feel this is connected over here. Um, in terms of like the challenge is this is something you've been waiting for. And I feel like this is an exciting opportunity for some of you. You might find that there ends up being a connection here that goes a lot deeper than just, um, work, uh, you know, I feel like some special connection or the work that you're doing is very heartful, very heartfully connected to the work that you're doing. Interestingly, the Knight of Swords, let's just get one more here in the Knight of Swords energy. Share more on the Knight of Swords. Thank you. The lovers. Yeah. So I feel Pisces that I just want to get one more, just one more, just to clarify. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're going to get wonderfully infused into this new project, endeavor, opportunity of some kind, Pisces. I think it's going to capture your attention. It's going to be exciting for you. I feel like you're going to be doing some new things and with someone, this person, the man holding a coin, I feel is charismatic, um, is like a very caring person and very grounded. They like you. I think there's a connection here between you. Okay. But there's something like this in and out energy I'm getting, which I feel is this hostilities person because you've, you've got a new focus because you've been very focused on trying to look after them, trying to make them happy, trying to care for them. And like I said, I'm just feeling this new buzz, this new excitement in that's coming in for you. Uh, and it's just going to change your energy. And I, I don't know, I, I just feel like you recognize that you're not going to want to engage in this anymore. It's just, it's not going to be in alignment with you, but I also feel like there's a choice to be made here, but whatever direction that you're going, you're, you're, I mean, to have the Empress and the mother star energy, like you, like you're really expanding. You're really growing. You're really moving to a place of just being in your own, absolutely attractive. Like I'm just feeling like this attractive, sexy, bold, yes, energy that people want to know that people want to be around. And it makes you feel so damn good that you haven't felt this in a while. I feel like you've been a little bit neglected. I feel like you've just constantly been bat battling in your goodness of trying to be the best version of yourself for this other person or situation and it's drained you and it's tired you and something showed up because spirits like Pisces, 
you deserve better than this. I know you're trying to hang in there. I know you're trying to hold on. Let us take care of that. It's time for you to take care of you. We'll figure out the rest for you. Just go do you. Go do what makes you happy. Recognize you have a greater purpose than trying to help this person who won't help themselves. And I'm saying that with love, Pisces, okay? So let's just get a few more messages here. I do like the angel messages. All right. What do we have to share finally with Pisces? Thank you, spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Final messages for Pisces. An important achievement, self-discipline, willpower, and recognition. We have seen this already with the chariot energy showing up in terms of a decision and path going forward. We've got a lot of fast moving energy happening, and this could also be part of your challenge Pisces is making the decisions. And because you might find that you've got a lot of, um, a lot of things coming on in that maybe you weren't expecting, <laughs> Uh, but this is exciting. And then you've got the emperor energy, organization, logic, structure, discipline, leadership. It's quite uh, interesting that we do have the empress energy showing up here. So you might find with this new opportunity showing up for you, Pisces, in regards to work and opportunity of some kind that... This is actually going to be a pretty significant connection. Maybe too, you are good, you're a good power couple in the workplace. It doesn't need to be romantic at, any, at all, but I'm seeing some really good energy coming in for you that I feel finally up, uplifts you. Um, and like I said, where you feel seen, but a part of this is opening you up to attracting more beauty, beauty into your life and allowing you to take care of yourself and nurture yourself like you deserve. In addition, we've got the hermit energy, which is spending time in quiet meditations, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Like I said, there, there is this um, angelic presence around you and supporting you right now. I, I do feel as part of this experience, you know, like I said, I'm feeling your, your sadness over here. I'm feeling a lot of that. You're feeling, um, the heaviness, the love that you have just wanting to make everything. Okay. And there is when, when in this energy too, there is a lot of time that you're spending with yourself also with the thinking woman energy, spending time with yourself, thinking things through how to make things. Okay. How to make things work. And I feel like it's time to take a breath, Pisces, and just find ways that helps you quieten your mind or helps you like just balance things out. This could be certain, you know, this could be yoga, this could be meditations, this could be just playing fun, pumped up music in the morning, like today's going to be a good day, whatever it is. But I feel like there's a bit of alone time that you're going to have with yourself for yourself in support of your next, the work they wanted to come through like next generation. So, and that's part of the cycle that, that is moving and shifting forward. This King of earth energy is generous, professional, responsible, and practical energy, a, su a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. And we see, you know, this energy here. Okay showing up twice. So I feel this person is going to be a significant connection for you in your life. I think you guys without realizing are going to bring a lot of joy to each other. This doesn't again, have to be romantic. This may not be, this could be just a new friend, a new person that there's this, um, sapiosexual energy. You both get each other. You both inspire each other. There's a lot of, um, back and forth of like, creating and intelligence of making something even better and growing. So I feel like this is a sweet connection for you. It could be something more. There is the Ace of Cups here. There is the lover's energy here. You know, there is a lot, lot of abundance and opportunity coming on in the Emperor and Empress energy. So anything's possible here, but I, I'm really liking this for you, Pisces. I do feel there's a bit of a theme here and I do feel this other energy, this hostilities energy and the envy energy is kind of going to dissipate, go away, 
move out. Okay. I really do feel that where that goes, I don't know. Um, but this is the energy that is being shared right now. Have a great night, have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye now.